episode of sharing my collection with Remember the Great Sports. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check out my pickup video where I share this whole dollar of Slurpee coins with me. Um, these are the 7-Eleven coins that I picked up that uh, unfortunately had a damaged Dan Marino rookie coin in them. And I was going through my stuff just putting those away. And I came across my box of goodies, I guess you would say, with all my coins and Slurpee coins in them. And also in that box, I came across these 3D Superstar baseball cards. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check that one out as well. And I'll link it right here in the corner and down at the, um, in the description and at the end. But um, these coins came on my radar because I actually stopped by a coin shop the other day and every now and then I pop into a coin shop just to see if they got some sports stuff laying around unfortunately this one didn't but what they did have were coin holders five for a buck so I or were they four for a buck I don't remember they either were four or five for a buck but I bought I bought a combination of holders along with these holders and I decided to go home and I put my baseball coins in them because I knew I had a huge sack of baseball coins that I picked up at a flea market many many years ago way before I had my channel but I was at a flea market and the seller was like hey you know give me two dollars for the whole bag or something it was just some absurd amount and the guy gave me all these you know for for like two or three bucks so i took them off his hand well ever since i've had them they've been just sitting in this bag collecting dust in a oversized rubber made container basically with some other coin stuff that i have and i was like you know since i'm cleaning up some stuff why not clean up my room a little bit and put the you know put the video recorder on and share some of this fun stuff with you guys so um, these aren't the only coins that I have. Like I said, I've, I've shared the Slurpee coins. You know, they're technically not coins, but they are. But uh, in that video, I also shared this Ryan Sandberg. Uh, this holder was also in the four for a dollar or whatever. So I got this nice little neat holder to put my Ryan Sandberg coin in. But I've collected these over the years. Um, these are actually uh, something that I picked up recently. In the last couple years at a card show and you may remember that video but uh, these are actually the tops archives coins that were made to look like the retro coins from the 1980s and the 90s so these are I guess the reissue whatever you want to call them with current players and uh, these were more or less just given to me for free you know and Andrew McCutcheon Josh Donaldson you know I think there's a Carlos Correa in here but you know, it's not any huge major stars like Mike Trout or anything like that or Bryce Harper, but they were free, so you can't complain. But if you go even farther back, uh, this is one of those things that I regret not buying um, now that I look back at it. Um, this was actually at a video game place of all places, like a vintage stock, and sometimes they dabble with cards there, Pokemon Magic, but every now and then they have stuff in there, and this was a case of vintage 1960s baseball coins which were similar to the ones they re-released in the 1980s now i remember going to there and you couldn't see the coins that were in the container and they were having one of their uh sales like over the holiday weekends like fourth of july labor day whatever and everything was half off well i just bought the one and i left the other two there well regretfully that means I paid $7.50 for the whole container, which, you know, give or take, that's that's might be a little too high, depending on, you know, the way you look at this. But I only bought one container where I could have bought all three of them, and the container itself with the 60s ones in there does have a couple good ones in there. There's like a Juan Marichal, let's see, Albie Pearson, Rookie of the Year, there's a Ron Sano. Uh, let's see, Gary Peters, there's a Sandy Koufax, I mean there's a Sandy Koufax coin in here, uh, Mazarowski, Leon Wagner, there's a Carl Yastrzemski, 
There's Dick Groat. Lando Cepeda. Al Kaline. Dick Stewart. And Roy McMillan. So as you can see, you know, there were some Hall of Fame coins in here. And I, I don't really know what these are worth. But for $750, I didn't lose. I didn't lose anything, you know, especially with the Kofax and the Cepeda in there. So that's kind of my overall recap of my coin sports coins. Now I have some more of these. Um, I want to say that they're probably back at my parents' house. Uh, I know I have a few sealed packs of these, and part of the reason that I enjoy these the way I enjoy them is very simple. Um, these coins from whatever year they are. I'm not going to pull all these out because it would take me 40 minutes to show you all these, you know, coins. And like I said, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all in these tubes and preserve them a little bit better so they're not all clanging against each other. But um, these coins hold a very special place in my heart because um, my father uh, used to work nights. Um, he used to, you know, when, growing up as a kid, my father, you know, was a very hardworking man. And he would often work nights. I wouldn't all see him. You know, it might be a day or two before I see my dad. You know, that's, you know, that's, that's a little rough when you're growing up. But, you know, I learned to persevere and, you know, do whatever. But my dad used to go into the gas station, and these used to be sitting on the counter like a pack of cards. And my dad would buy me a pack or two and bring them home to me. And we would sit there and we'd open them up together and, you know, just look at these. Um, I know for a fact that I ordered the whole uh, collector uh, set before. Uh, I know that I've purchased it since, but again, I'm not showing it in this video. Um, it's somewhere in my collection. I couldn't even put my hands on it if I tried at the moment. Um, it would make sense to put them all together, but... I don't make a lot of sense sometimes when I store my stuff. So, like I said, these share a sentimental value to me. I'm not going to, like like I said, show them all to you. I mean, there's some commons in here, but, you know, there's a Wade Boggs right there, Hall of Famer. You know, here's the Kirby Puckett. You know, another Hall of Famer, but, you know, there's Mickey Tendleton. You know, good player, but not a Hall of Famer. You know, Sid Fernandez, Ruben Sierra. And the cool thing about these... Gary Sheffield, you know, and that's that's Sheffield as a brewer, so that's really early in his career. The cool thing about these, um, when you got these, was you always got a current star. You know, it, it's not like they were commons, like when you open a pack of baseball cards and you got a, you know, a common guy you never heard of. You know, with the baseball coins, especially this guy right here, Bo Jackson. I mean, could you imagine pulling that out circa 1989, 90, 91? You buy your, you buy your pack of three coins, and lo and behold, there's Bo. I mean, that, that was, that'd be a huge one for back then. So, like I said, I'm going to have fun sorting through these. You know, I'm not going to show them all because we're almost, you know, already approaching 10 minutes. But, you know, there's a Robin Yount right there and another Bo Jackson. Or it could be the same one, I guess, because I just kind of reached in there and grabbed a section here. But there is Barry Bonds. So, I'm, so I mean, these, these have all the stars in there. Barry Bonds. Tendleton again. I guess you got a Tendleton in every pack. There's a Mark Davis, not really a big name. Tommy Herr. Lonnie Smith. So, I mean... Players were good, but it's better to get a Bo Jackson and a Barry Bonds in every pack than, you know, I'm sure McGuire's in here and there's another Sheffield. Or it's the same one, I just keep pulling out of here, one of the two. Him and Mickey Tendleton. There's Donnie Baseball. There's Alan Trammell. Roberto Alomar. Again, that's a very early Roberto Alomar. Him as a Padre. So, I mean, this is just a neat little collection to have. And again, I paid very, very little for all these. So, hope you enjoyed my stroll down memory lane again. Really enjoyed sharing them with you. Um, I do have randomly, I don't know why I did this, but randomly in there I also had a page with some of the coins I'd pulled out. And 
maybe it was a work in progress, but there's a Nolan Ryan, a Ryan Sandberg, Mike Schmidt, Paul Molitor, a couple of Will Clarks, you know, my favorite player, Tony Gwynn, another Nolan Ryan. Is that, yeah, him as a Ranger and an Astro, so that tells you that, that that was after 90 or 91 when he went to the Rangers. But hope you enjoyed this uh, little collection and stroll down memory lane with me. Um, look forward to your comments below. Tell me if you got any of these in your collection and if you have good memories like I do with them. Happy collecting.